I started out as a graffiti artist back when I was 15 years old in San Jose, California. And many years later, I have learned that I was the very first girl to do graffiti art on the West Coast. And I just think that that is unbelievable. I was just doing what I loved. And it turned out that I was actually starting a movement. Art has been something that has really helped me to work through a lot of hard times in my life. I've been through a lot of difficulties. I received a vision from God many years ago to paint love across the world. And I first did that in the painting entitled Living the Dream, which you can see on my Jody Style collection on the website. For more than 20 years, I showed my work at various festivals in California and was thrilled when I moved to Colorado that I was able to show my work at the Ritz-Carlton and very exclusive galleries picked up my work and started um, sharing it with their collectors. So that's just been a tremendous blessing which has allowed me to focus my energies more on the creative aspect of what I do. I have had the opportunity to paint live at many different events where I get to paint on stage and the audience gets to view my work from start to finish. I'll do a painting and it'll be just such an awesome experience for everyone. My work has developed into many different styles, many different collections that you can see on my website. I have the pop iconography, the urban western, the modern musicology, which are all pop art influenced work of modern day icons. The funky and fresh collection and the love series really bring back my graffiti roots into some current themes that I really enjoy painting. Uh, the Jody style is a whimsical yet sophisticated style of work that were painted prayers. Uh, the same thing goes for the sacred art, which is my current series that I'm working on that shares my walk with God and the exploration of my faith through my painting. There's a mural collection that I've really had the opportunity to portray my vision of spreading love across the world and we did a Love Life mural that was an incredible story and I'd encourage you to go learn more about it. It was a mural that was actually whitewashed and it was heartbreaking, but many good things came out of the mural that I painted there. I also do commission work from time to time and that's where I get the opportunity to co-create. I'm so grateful for the many collectors that have allowed me to continue pursuing my dream of painting love across the world for more than three decades, and I'm just getting started. <laughs>